your first alert forecast with meteorologist David Harker, only on Fox 47 News at 10. I'm sure there's going to be quite a few people come Tuesday morning who are not going to be very happy when they walk out to their car, David. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to see a lot, if any, accumulation really from the snow showers that are falling at this moment. Mm -hmm. But it's still going to be chilly enough, so grab your, um, uh, your jacket, sure. grab your gloves, grab your hat, and uh, you may need the other side of the ice scraper, the brush. Maybe a good idea. Who knows? Take a look at the Doppler radar this evening and the blue signifying the snow showers we've been talking about all evening long. Moving in just a little bit earlier. Nonetheless, they are scattered at this point. It doesn't look like what's amounting to much out there as we speak. However, if you do see any in the morning, just take a little extra time out there. Even with the chilly temperatures, it makes uh, at least when you talk about the scattered snow showers and a bit breezy conditions could make that driving just that little bit worse. Nonetheless, how about we take a look at the temperatures out there? 33 degrees in the capital city currently, 34 degrees down in Mason. Same in out in the Charlotte as well. Look up to the north though in Alma coming in at 29 degrees, but you don't feel the real effect of the temperatures until you factor in the winds. Now the wind direction currently out of the west, that's behind that cold front that made its way through earlier, 5 to 15, even upwards of 20 mile per hour winds makes it feel like it's 22 degrees in the capital city, 28 degrees in Mason, 23 in Jackson, and a pair of 25 degree readings closer to the tri-state in Hillsdale and into Adrian. Now, across the region we go, the cold front itself has already made its way off to the east, and that's closer to where that rain line is, making its track into the northeast. For us, we're just dealing with the scattered snow showers, more of a trough for a boundary building into the back edge of this system. The low pressure system itself still up to the north, and with the low pressure system making its track to the east is going to draw in a lot of cold Arctic air into mid Michigan. That's why we'll see temperatures only on the high side into the 30s for the daytime tomorrow. So let's take a look at the future track by 1 a.m. Still expecting to see a little rain, uh, snow shower activity out there, but by the morning hours we should be seeing an end to the snow. And if we do, it'll be very light flurries across the area. Sunny skies will prevail in the afternoon as high pressure builds in, so the lunch hour should be okay and the evening hours will be uh, great as well. Now that warm front that you see making its way on the screen, that'll be our next weather maker in the sense of a little bit of cloud cover, but mainly that southerly flow. And that's going to allow some of that warm southern air to make its way up into the upper Midwest. That'll provide us with near 50 degree temperatures closer to the weekend. So it may not be the 60s that we saw this past weekend. Still be 50s, still be clear. So if you didn't get any of that fall lawn work done, still may be able to do so later in the forecast period. Nonetheless, we take a look at temperatures tonight, expecting to dip back down into the 20s, although this model shows slightly warmer temperatures across mid Michigan, expecting high temperatures in the upper 30s for the daytime on Tuesday. Once we get Tuesday night into Wednesday, temperatures once again will drop into the 20s. Be a chilly start going into Wednesday morning. Grab the jacket for yourself and for the kiddos as you head on out the door and temperatures Wednesday should be back into the 40s. Overnight tonight, you see the snow in the background of the screen. Yeah, it'll be with us 26 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. How about your 1-800 Hanson's weather kid, Emma? She's got the right idea. She's got the big thick jacket. She's got the gloves. She's ready for cold temperatures. 38 degrees as a high temperature tomorrow and the next seven days, lots of sun, in, even in time for silver bells this coming Friday. And we can't forget the uh, parade in Jackson as well. That's going on a Friday night. Still chilly temperatures, but hopefully we'll get to 50 degrees with the sunny skies this coming weekend. Unreal. Sunday, 70 degrees. Monday, we got snow. Yes. Just can't, can't figure it with Mother Nature out. Welcome to Michigan. Thanks yeah. a lot, David. Hey, we're going beyond the headlines right after the break.